met as a charity jumble sale. We basically had rival stores across from each other. I was selling some bits that Alice wanted to buy. Alice was selling bits that I wanted to buy. So we ended up making friends. We call it fate. Call it fate. We bonded over a, a chili that we went and shared together. And then we started in a really courting um, fashion. Yeah, fashion. We, we sort of sort of friend dated for a bit, didn't we? We, yeah. we dined together. We cooked for each other. Well, we both loved new openings and eating in places where you could get a deal. So we'd be like, "Oh my god, I found this amazing lunch deal in West London. Do you fancy going together?" And he was like, "Oh, I'm free." Um, and then we went from dining out together to cooking for each other. And we just really love food, and that's what we bonded over. So we decided that we'd set up a business or a company or something that was ours to do with food. And we really loved people like Grace Den and um, uh, people who were reviewing restaurants. That was kind of what we wanted to do, but we were like, you can't just start reviewing restaurants for ES. That doesn't really happen. So we spoke to a few magazines. We got ourselves a little column but it felt like we really we really needed to put our money where our mouth was. We couldn't write about food if we weren't doing anything. Um, so we decided to start a supper club, not really knowing what one was. Yeah, we still don't really know what a supper club is. I think our definition of a supper club is maybe different to other people's, but we just open our homes, brackets, Laura's house, and mm. have people over for dinner. And we hope that it's um, a great way to meet people, a great way to have some lovely home cooked food and something different to going to a restaurant or going to a dinner party, it's kind of yeah. somewhere in between. I think food was a massive part of our lives growing up in different ways. Mm. My mum was really and is a really big home cook and made amazing food from when we were really young and grows her own, she has a really big allotment and I think everything sort of centres around food. But I never really cooked with her in the kitchen because, you know, she's a control freak. Um, but I definitely, in later life, have been inspired by what a good home cook she was. Um, and we've definitely kept the heart of that at the supper club. We're not chefs, we're, we're home cooks. Yeah. My mum loves cooking, but she's really big on entertaining. We've got quite a large family, so it's always been about bringing people together. I always remember her cooking a chocolate tour, and it would be massive because <laughs> we had so many people to feed. And I used to be the waitress at her party. So I think we'd bring different things to the table, which was quite interesting, because obviously Alice's food came for the allotment, and mine was like, a commune because we had so many people so we brought brought that to, to the table at the supper club and I think that's why it works so well. Which explains why I'm used to seconds and thirds and you're like just a little portion for me. Now I'm the one going, <laughs> running around giving everyone alcohol. So over the years of doing the supper club we've always come up with different seasonal menus and kind of wanted to use our surroundings so if there were local things that were being grown or being made we always wanted to integrate that into the supper club. If you'd like to find out more about the Jackson and Levine and Habitat collaboration, then please go to habitat.co.uk forward slash Jackson and Levine. <laughs>